Hello everyone, welcome to Team Talks. Welcome back, I'm assuming 90% of you, because it's about ratio. So, very nice to be able to say this, but it does... Oh, weird. It does seem like we are definitely going to get Aurora. I'm really excited. Ew, piglet. We have the adoption paper sent in, everything went well. Our referral gave us glowing reviews. We actually used referral for the last organization that we adopted a cat from, which would be Moo. So, very happy about that. It does look good. They just need to get her eye checked out. If you look in the very first video we posted of her, it looked like it was infected, but when we went back it looked much better. However, they're still gonna check her out. And because today is Labor Day, I'm sure you'll be watching this later if you are, if not, hi. Welcome to Labor Day as well. But she is going to need to see the vet real quick. And they couldn't do over the weekend because the vet's not in, so she'll get a checkup on either Tuesday, I'm guessing Wednesday, we should pick her up around then. So super exciting. Today's the second, I believe. I'm, I'm talking on the second. Ooh, so we're either gonna pick her up tomorrow after her little vet visit there, or the next day after they confirm all as well. Yeah. But her eye looked much better the second time we went, and that was just overnight, so... It does seem as if they were giving her drops. The place is really great. I promise I'll make more videos about it, especially if you guys want to see. They have, like, kitten room, and they have these... They have three big, massive rooms with, like, different other rooms even within. I'll, I'll record it. And they have all these things for cats. The whole place is catified. And it's a no-kill shelter. So they'll have, like, older cats there and cats with special needs. And they do such a good job with what they do. I, I've i gone back two years after, and every single cat that was there was adopted and a new one had come in. So they, they recycle really, really well. They do a great job. Moo, you don't recycle well. Your brain doesn't. But I'm very excited. I do, I do want to tell everybody this, though. If they have odd interactions at first and you don't like the sounds that are being made, you don't have to watch. J j just saying in case that Daisy doesn't immediately go, Hi, welcome, I'm a human. I welcome, I welcome cats just like humans. She might give a hiss or two to put some hierarchy in place because uh, she was a bit weird with Moo at first for like I don't know maybe a day or two because he was just so playful would not leave her alone so she has experience with that however oh are you coming over she wants to see what's going on yeah however uh, Moo was actually seven months and Aurora's only three yeah. You know, it's so funny how she's letting him do this in the shelter. She would smack around any cat that tried to come up to her eating, and she would just smack a cat and go eat their food. She goes, Mom, I didn't do that. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. So, it's just really funny. She won't take his food ever, but at the shelter, nah. That was her food. Yeah. Is that how it goes there? All the cats there are very well behaved with other cats because of it. This is not even a normal position for an animal to be in. Look at this! Oh my god, and you people actually keep calling him a cat! I'm so glad we're getting another actual cat. Yeah, Daisy, I'm sorry. I got- I tried to get you a kitten and said I got- an interdimensional alien who barely knows what's going on, but at the same time created the universe. Did you just forget along the way? Moo ball, did you just forget along the way? Ooh, you're gonna love your little sister. 
his uh, foster parents are very excited too for him to get more cats because he loved cats. He likes cats so much you can't introduce a cat that's not a kitten because he will inevitably run right up and just smell and play with. So, if that doesn't happen and this video aged poorly, <laughs> that sucks.